So my name is Kelsey and I am um, I'm getting baptized today. When I was a child, I grew up in an Irish Catholic family where church was really, really important. And we would go to church all the time. And I was one of four. As I grew older and older, I felt as though my faith just got more and more diminished. Flash forward and the COVID-19 pandemic hit and I found myself just not in a really good state mentally. And what kind of sent it over the edge is um, a few months later, I was getting ready and I noticed there was a dark spot on my chest and I quickly went to kind of rub it off and it wasn't rubbing off. And immediately my mind flooded with worst case scenarios. I ended up getting an appointment with a dermatologist, but a few weeks later I received a phone call and they had told me that the biopsy needed to be sent to another lab for further testing. And that about sent me over the edge. I, I didn't know what that meant. Was it good? Was that bad? Surely that couldn't be a good sign. And then I received the phone call um, from the dermatologist and I wasn't fine. And their finding was that I had melanoma on my chest and that they were going to need to remove it surgically and they were going to need to clear the margins. and. Um, with that said, it was curable and it was treatable and I was going to be okay, but there was going to need to be an action plan. And so with my last doctor's appointment, I sat on the physician's table and she told me, you're fine there's nothing wrong with you. And I looked at her with tears in my eyes and I said, I think I've become a hypochondriac, I need some help. Um, and I left that appointment with a mental health appointment and I called my mom and I let her know everything that had been happening in my mind. And I told her for the first time that I was open to anti-anxiety medication, but for the first time in my entire life, I had also shared with her that I was seeking faith sharing that I would like to accept Jesus into my heart and it is truly fully my decision. It is something that I have learned is unconditional. And so I would like to um, read something that I had just kind of drafted. It. When I think about what fully, completely and truly accepting Jesus into my heart has done for my life, I become overwhelmed. A lump forms in my throat and the tears flood down my cheeks. Since finding my faith, talking to God and trusting in Him, my life has changed. I no longer feel alone like I did during the pandemic. I wholeheartedly know that anything I do in my life, I have Jesus who walks alongside me. Despite my earlier perception, He does indeed love me without conditions. Finding God has allowed me to accept my imperfections. Is it allowed me to forgive myself for past mistakes? Is it allowed for me to give grace to myself and the people around me? It has taught me to be grateful and humble and patient. Finding God has strengthened my marriage and has challenged me to be better in all aspects of my life. A better mom, better wife, daughter, sister, friend, colleague, and teacher. It has made me more reflective. Finding God has made me an example for my children who now speak his name. And finally, finding God has taken away my dehabilitating anxiety. In those moments when I feel anxious or worried, I listen to worship music close my eyes, breathe, and spend time with Jesus through prayer. When I do this, I can physically feel my chest get lighter and my worries drift away. Today, the day I become baptized is, in, is symbolic in more ways than one. Not only is it a day where I publicly declare my devotion and love for Jesus Christ, but it is also a day where I am able to physically remove the surgical tape along my chest to reveal the scar that led me here. Before I baptize you, I just want to say, like, in the video, if you saw the video, there, there, there was a point in the video where all we saw was Kelsey laughing and um, smiling. And it was like the only shot in the video where she was, where we saw that because the rest was kind of her, her testimony, which was, which was heavy. And so 
as I baptize her, that is the picture I have in my mind. <laughs> 